If you have not already heard, Jesus Christ, the Son of God Himself, had to learn、um, obedience through sufferings. It's a quite a quintessential kind of a、um, transcendent and astounding statement to say that the Son of God, the divine transcendent God, needs to learn depend obedience, and that's because He. Jesus was a man as well, so in the capacity of a man, he had to learn obedience to God when he is God Himself. Go figure! By his his to, obe- to to learn obedience to God the Father, not to God the Son. So he basically lay aside his divine divinity, pretty much altogether, and then fully function as a man. So I think this is really important because when Jesus. Uh, conducts or、uh, carries out、uh, miracles. People think he is God, but he's a man. I guess he's a God man. Of course, he's a total God man. And, and、uh, the fact that he can do all these things is most astounding. You know. So now you understand. If, if you don't understand this, you cannot grow into maturity. Wow, well, that's a pretty big statement, right? Because that's actually in Hebrews five, Jesus was um, um, the Hebrews author talked about. You've been feeding on milk. You should have be grown up by now. But the thing is, and then he quoted Jesus before that. Jesus, like Jesus, to learn obedience through his sufferings. By his sufferings, he brought us into the. He became the source of salvation. The reason he had to learn obedience. Uh, through sufferings is really for his active obedience. Okay, he he he's, he dem. How do you demonstrate complete obedience to God? If if it were if it were not for hard situations, hard cases, and sufferings, you know that's why God tested. In a sense, God tested His Son through on the cross. The cross is the single biggest test for Jesus. So much so that. He asked. He begged, literally begged, Father, take away this cup from me. But he said, But let your will be done. That's incredible strength because the line between the, the divine and the human is very blurred at times because you can't. It's so close. But when when Jesus poured out his heart and cried, Father, Father, with loud cries. With tears, that line is very, very distinct. There's a full humanity of Jesus at display. Okay, because he passed the test, because he fully obeyed, he became the source of salvation. Do you see that? He could not become the source of salvation if he did not suffer. Suffer. What does it mean?、It、means the cross. In other words, if he didn't die on the cross, he could not be the source of salvation to the world. That's how powerful it is. All right. So if you want to grow into maturity, you must understand this. How would you know this if I didn't talk about this? Not many Christians know what I've just shared because that is that is, you know you need unpack the scripture. You need to be trained. So this is very very important to grow into maturity. Cannot just go by hot air. Just cannot go by superficial、uh, experiences like getting us getting sick.、Uh, we, we become a people of deep experience with God. But not, but not a people of truth. Truth and experience are two different things, you know. So, so, so take that in, folks. Amen.